We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spellcasting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. 
Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Yeah, but I do. Merlin's beard. H how did you wait? We did. Ooh. Okay, that. Uh, where is the rest of the carriage? Oh. Oh. Oh, don't be looking back. Don't just, 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 just keep. Oh, good idea. The key. Give me your hand. Probably not. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganweld potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wiganweld potion. It's green. It's green and it's good for me. Basically, it's Brussels sprouts in a bottle. Yummy. What happened? George, I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. Good question. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Okay, just want to make sure my legs are working. They are, which is good. Big fan of working legs. Right, we're in a cave, basically where some animal came to die. Not sure that's useful information. Whoa. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Well, there's a path right there. But, um... Mind your step. If your wife died pursuing this, and George just died pursuing this, and now we're pursuing this... I'm spotting a potential pattern, is what I'm saying. You're a Gryffindor, aren't you? Yeah, never mind. To be honest, I'm... Kind of curious, and it's Why not like you suppose your wife we've got, got a the choice. Key that brought us here. A good question. 
Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Right, I was gonna say there's a ledge there. I thought you were gonna suggest we jump and fly down. But sir, and I was. why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Okay. What is that? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay, you want me to... All right, let's... Um... You want me to do it again? Just keep doing it to... Whoa. Excellent. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Okay. Could you teach me a spell that, that was a bit rougher than I'd expected? Okay, Professor, I'm getting this very strange urge to play with these vases. Sorry, it's just, just, just some odd instinct to look inside them or blast them to smithereens. Yeah. I should focus. You're absolutely right. Totally right. We should be focusing on finding out what horrible thing is probably going to try and eat us. Ah, up there. Okay. <laughs> Sprightly. I, kn I know you want to go that way, Professor. Just indulge me a second. Professor, D don't ask me why. I just got this urge to check around here and I found something. You know, it could be useful. Probably not right now. Do, do not have- We're close now, it's just ahead. Like curiosity? I mean, granted, probably that should be dominating our attention slightly more, but... Steady yourself! Repero! Okay. I, I'm, I'm liking the fact that you also repaired the railings for safety. Almost there. Right. Are you not getting an odd feeling about this? There is something about this place. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Uh, define out of place. You just magically repaired a bridge. Professor Fig and I have traveled via port key to a remote cliffside in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. Okay. 
Sorry, I sometimes like to say what I'm doing out loud. Did, did it not occur to you to check this first? The statue of a man holding a book and a globe. Okay, well, maybe I should be like the professor and just check around a little more thoroughly before I poke the absolute obvious thing. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Okay, so there is something there I probably need to blast. Should I check with the professor before I start blasting things? Probably not. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Okay. So we think that was the owner of this abode. It's not much of a home, though. I mean, I'm guessing it was probably a lot more homely once upon a time. But even then, I mean, who has that sort of thing in their home? What is it? Professor, it's a mural of some kind. I'm mm. a genius. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, why do I get this weird urge to play with vases? Can I, um... Sorry, just... Okay. There's, a, there's another stone. I'm going to try shooting it. Are you okay with that? I will take your silence as an affirmative. I mean, honestly, I get the feeling if he'd seen it, he'd have already blasted it to pieces without giving it a second thought. Now. What? Might I be missing? What's this? Professor Fig? Whoa. Whoa. Is that? It feels like a reflection, but it's not. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. Ah. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Why is it I can see this and he can't? And neither could George. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Ooh. Where are we? I don't believe it. Somebody's snoring. Okay. Um. Before we before we nudge him, should we perhaps just? Okay. This is very strange. Ah, I have a feeling this is some sort of, um, for want of a better word, train station. Hello. Welcome to Gringott 
Vault's Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. Really? We're just... The key? Mm hmm? The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. So he's been expecting someone to come here this for this. This way, then. Stay close. Yeah. After you. Okay. Very cool. I'm guessing we're not allowed to drive. Your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Are there seat belts? How many volts are there in Green Vaults? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Vaults? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Oh! Okay, I'm loving this. A breath. Waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. So basically we teleported to a private entrance to a bank far, far away. Aye. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. So what is special about Vault 12. And why am I getting a bad feeling about him? Because he's legging it off somewhere. Professor, mm -hmm. the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When's the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Do they know what's in there? Vault 12. Thank you for your help. The only one who thinks it's a bad idea to go in there and leave someone with the key outside. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. What? Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? was certainly unexpected. Not really. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady your wand. 
and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Okay. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. So, oh, okay. And I just do this then. Oh, is that wrong? Oh, I've, right, okay. Oh, I've got a, I've got a, I see. I think I see. Ah, it is right. I think I do actually understand this now. I've just got to keep it slightly ahead. And then, got it. Revelio. Okay. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay. Before I do that, what's... I'm feeling like there's something outside as well. A door. With that well, symbol. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Right. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I yep. do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Okay. Revelio. I hope you don't mind if I do that. Revelio. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Okay. I'll go poke it, shall I? Okay, it's got bubbles coming out of it. Can you not see this? All right. Lumos. What happened? Whoa. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Well, not exactly true. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh. Okay. Yes. Lumos. Uh, right. Let's do this. So, I need to go here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't turn too early. Excellent. So... You've acquired the one lightning charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell slot. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark areas. Excellent. Okay. Will do. Lumos. Well Ooh. done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. Oh. It does follow the light. All right. So now what I need to do is position myself. Uh... I have a horrible feeling he's going to smack the ice and break it. Or Oros. A break us. Or call in reinforcements and just do all of the above. Look out! 
Uh, okay. So that's my... Okay, so... Whoa, okay, right, right. Uh, yeah, that's... Okay, no, that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Did it? All right, okay. So, I gotta, I gotta... Oh no, I hit... I've actually blocked him. Is something gonna... I, I need to heal again. I definitely need to heal again. Got him! Got him! All right, okay. Have we got him? All right. Okay, I'm close. Oh, you're even close. Whoa! Professor! Professor Fig! Luke, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Revelio! Oh, Lumos. if I Revelio? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, oh. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. All right, I'll follow there. Revelio. Okay. Lumos. Follow the wisps of magic. And... Revelio. Lumos. What? Revelio. Lumos. I wish I could... Revelio and Lumos at the same time. Revelio. Lumos. All right. Revelio. Got another one over there. I've actually got quite a good range on... Lumos. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That yep. glow again. That's right, but before we do that... Revelio. Lumos. All right. I'm not leaving the professor behind, am I? Revelio. Lumos. No, I'm gonna guess he's got out of here already. And oh. Oh, I gotta do this again? All right. So. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Yep. Can we do one at a time? I'm gonna guess no. Oh, wait a minute. No, I have to I have to get to the right spot and get them all right. Seems I have no choice. I'm gonna to have to fight my way out of here. Okay, this this I could do, this I could do, this I could do. I got this, I got this. Oh! I don't got this, not if I keep getting hit. Oh, he says getting hit. Got ya. Uh, uh, oh, stupefying. I'm stupefying. Oh, I'm liking the stupefy. I'm liking the stupefy. All right. Of course, we got more people. Okay, no. All right. Whoa, okay. Lot of them. Come on, someone gonna. I wanna stupefy someone. Oh, yes! Okay. Uh, did I stupefy the right one? I 
I feel like I'm stupefying the wrong... Oh, stop focusing on killing the... Whoa, don't have... You don't have options here. You don't have options for the whole... You've got no healing. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Out of healing, but... Whoa. Lumos. Revelio. Okay. Lumos. Keep following. I can sprint. Whoa. Revelio. Yeah, I can sprint. Lumos. That's the symbol I keep seeing. Revelio. Lumos. Nothing. Else. Whoa. Okay. I guess this thing really wants me to investigate and stop checking the perimeter. All right then. Pushy. Okay. Revelio. My vision's got a Lumos. little uh, red. I'm feeling better though. Guess I'm going. Okay, and now my vision's a little blue. Revelio. Okay. Um. All right. I don't know if I need money for anything, but you know what? For all I know, that's part of this test, and it's going to be like, Did you collect all of the coins? And I'll be like, No! I didn't realize I had to. Maybe, well, then you have failed. And now, you shall die. Rebellion. Conversely, it could be, You ran around picking up coins when your life was in danger. You're a moron. Now you shall die. I'm seeing something float there. Lumos. Don't really need Lumos. All right. Guess we're investigating. And by investigating, I mean grabbing it. Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Okay. Is there a memory in there? Whose memory? And of what? Follow my lead. Is the owner of the house? All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. 
Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. That's me. We've done all that we can. I think. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Yeah. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Okay. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. We didn't actually <coughs> find Sir, anything. They have really? the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Well, the only thing that was here was a memory. Well, perhaps your young friend here like stick will be more helpful. Face in the... Okay, please tell me that's on our side. Okay. It's not on his side. That's good enough. Are we just gonna... Whoa. Get out of here? Uh, uh, let's go with yes. Professor? I know a way out. Professor? We're leaving! Oh. Oh. So only I can do that. Only I can do that, right? They can't follow. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. A sorting ceremony? Well, yeah, sure. Let's, let's stop messing about and start focusing on what's important, yeah?